name is Abiha and I'm six year old. I will be teaching you a Doppler straighter and I will be teaching you all of this all of these things. Thing you can uh you can um make make shapes as a brush. You can make um you can make characters out of shapes and you can also make a heart with different colors. There are so much things. Oh, so Adobe is just like you can make drawings and then you can scribble, draw, paint. You can do whatever you want. Yeah, but you have to save it. You have to save it if you want it to stay there. Oh, I see. Okay, so let's see what you have drawn and can you walk us through so the drawings you have done and what you are going to teach us? So, over here, this is my drawing of a girl that is traced and I have traced her. It was my schoolwork. So, so you're saying you have made every single thing on the bike and this is not an image? Yeah. It's not an image. If you want, I can show you the image. That's fine. Let's let's go show us. Can you show us what else you have made? So, there is a ballroom that is just an image, but this princess is mine. The ballroom is the image. The princess is mine. Oh, lovely. And here, I've called it brothers and sisters because look, this is the this is the brother and this is the sister. This is oh, the so you, and this is the so you have drawn all the heart yourself, and then you used shape tools to shape builder. Shape builder. It's called shape builder because if you can click on Control A, it will select everything. Then what you can do is you can go to shape builder tool. You can go to properties, fill, any color, and fill it there. Oh, Just click lovely. on it. Just click on the place you want to do it. And over here, this is my bunny. It's not quite completed yet, but I will soon be done. It's lovely. And here, this is, I called it character four because I have no idea why I called it character four, but this is a pretty good drawing to me. So, this is my first character. It was not very good. Um, but it looks cool. Yeah, it looks cool, but it's not cool without that. What's that? What's that amazing background? Oh, so this I drew a rectangle, which will, which um, which like uh, which I put it like um the. With like the the white background that you have when you when you. It draw. looks like a gradient. Oh yes, it is a gradient. Oh right, okay. That looks cool. Okay, but we will cover that as well. So, uh, this is my character. And he doesn't so, have a neck. So, you can make like a cool shapes. Whatever character you want, you can make them in Illustrator. Yeah. That's amazing. Can you show us more? So, uh, this is my character Free. I made her waving. I know she looks like a boy, but she's actually a girl. Here I've made circle, and here I've made oh, an oval. Lovely. And this is so. Here I've drawn this character, and I've compared, and I've compared it to this one. But I think that this one looks better, and this one looks better. Well, to be honest, because both... this one is bigger, and it looks like a giant. Yeah, but both look cool. They look like a father and son, and I like their hairstyle. Yeah, they're both the same. I tried to make them the same. And over here, this is my confused cat and dog. I traced them. So over here, you can see how much detail I put into it. Into it. Why? Why do you call it confused cats and dog? Because it's tilting its head around like that, and that is how. Well, that is how dogs and cats they usually like. They usually go like. What? Okay, that's so, cool. So, I think it's confusing. Right. So, and here, this is my dinosaur, my triceratops. As you can see, you can tell because it has three, because it has three horns, and it has those scales, and 
Wow, that's too much off. detail. Is it really difficult or are you going to teach us everything? Um, I'm going to teach you everything. Oh, lovely. And you can become a master too. And this is my dragon. Okay, I'm not much of a fan of dinosaurs and dragons, but um, but I thought, why not? Let's give it a try. And this is my dragon I found on Dribble. And so then you trace then, it. Yes, and and no, this is not the tracing. I traced it myself. Right. Here is my alpha sketch. I had some help from my dad. Well, I had some help from my dad in everything. Just like, can you see these little things I've decorated it with? These little things, they are decorations. Oh, wow. They're used to decorate. Also, now let's go on to the next one. This one, since I'm a fan of fast food, I've made a burger here. A burger with some lettuce and a patty and here I've made some pizza with some with some french fries and what's here. that is it a potato no it's no it, it's chicken well that's and, a funny looking chicken and this is sprite as you can see I've typed it this is Rubicon and this is coca-cola because I'm a big fan of coke a giant fan and here I'm also a giant, giant fan of unicorns. So, well, and alicorns. Alicorns is, is the thing I love the most. Uh, so here, that's why I've traced a unicorn. Now let's move on to the next one. Next one. So this is the furry monster you saw. You saw in um the girl's basket. And over here, you that can looks see. amazing. So, are you gonna teach us that as well? Yes. Oh, lovely. But unfortunately, I forgot it. <laughs> but I can, but I can okay. watch a video and I can show you. So this is my goat, and you can see its shell right, right over here. That's a cool color. I like the way you colored the tongue. So this is my girl. My first girl, as you can see, I forgot her neck. And these are her earrings. I tried to add a little accessory to my to my character. This is oh, that's the same one. This is girl two. These are her bangs. I've made her bangs with circles next to each other. Uh, let me just fix that. Okay, now let's go to the next one. This oh, it's is the same. Him. Let's go to girl three. So th this is girl three. As you can see, she has a big smile. And it kind of looks like she has braces. But she doesn't. And here I've used gradient stars. And this is my cute, adorable little bunny. I like her. I really wish I could get a kitten, but I am going to get one if I can take care of the one I'm going to have. Okay, so now let's see girl four. This is the mermaid one I made. Look at her arms. Look at her hands. So teeny weeny. She's, she's a little child. I made her as a child. So she's the same one. So this is my gradient unicorn. Basically, I traced this unicorn. Then what I did is I filled it, I filled it with a gradient. Then I copied it and I made it smaller. And I filled it a rainbow gradient. Then I copied it all around this unicorn. Now, this is my gradient fox. My dad couldn't make it because there was something wrong with his ears. I can't really remember. But what I do remember is that I made this completely with circles oh that's amazing yeah I, re I remember that i remember that <laughs> i made some mistakes and then i was stuck so then this is my lion king does he look like a king well it looks like a funny lion especially with the tail and the flat feet but so yeah like... but so I, yeah it this looks... is the crown because this is lion king yeah but i like the creativity how you did the colors etc oh thanks 
So this is United 2. Well, and this is, this is where, well, now that I know how to make a star a brush, then you can color your brush different colors. It usually doesn't allow you to do that. Right, thanks very much Abiha. So are you going to teach us about every single thing you made and you're going to teach us how to learn Adobe and do funny and creative things? Yes, yes, basically I will. It will be so amazing and you guys will love the learning. So remember to subscribe to A Square and click on the link button and I'll see you next time. Bye!